Today, we're gonna to go through Luke's help guide, section 1.5, loading filament. My name's Jim, and this is The Edge of Tech. We've all been there. You get your first printer, you get it all built, and then you don't know how to load the filament. So that's what today's guide's all about. Section 1.5 and Luke Hadfield's help guide will walk us all through that. Let's get started. Okay, so once we get it removed from the uh, airtight packaging that your filament comes in, what we wanna do is free the end from the tape or the hole it's been secured with. So I like to put mine right on my uh, printer right away. And then what you wanna do is just make sure, in this case I had mine secured in the hole, Make sure that you're always holding the end here. Never let go because it could cause winding issues on the roll and you don't want that to happen. So once you got it released and you're holding on to the end, we're gonna go ahead and take the cutters that came with the kit. And in general practice, a lot of people like to cut a very steep angle here, just like that. That way it goes into the extruder a little easier. So for the next step, we have our filament cut to a very steep angle. We're gonna go ahead and squeeze the extruder arm here just a little bit, just to get it in there. And in my experience, I like to catch the pulley and you can see the pulley down in here right here. So the filament catches and we're gonna just feed it right in. And if you're holding that extruder arm and everything goes correctly, you can just feed it right in. You'll want to go ahead and with that extruder arm pressed, feed it all the way in until you feel it bottom out. If it's hot, you're gonna go ahead and feed it until you see the filament being extruded. So in my case, it was cold. So I need to bring the hot end up to temperature and then push until it extrudes. To bring the hot end up to temperature, we're gonna go ahead and go to your control button here, make sure your printer's turned on push down to, and you'll hear it click, go to control and push down again to select control, scroll over to temperature and then nozzle. And I'm gonna bring it up to about 210 degrees. So spin the control wheel around And then once you get to the temperature you wanna to go to, in my case, 210 degrees, just go ahead and hit go. And you'll hear, you'll hear everything start to fire up. And then what I like to do is back down, use your control, go back to control here. Use your wheel, go back to main. Use your wheel, go back up to info screen. And now you'll see the hot end heating up. So once it's up to temperature, for instance, mine is at 210 degrees Celsius. You're gonna go ahead and hold on to that extruder arm, squeeze it a little, and just give your filament a good press. And you're gonna see it starting to extrude out the bottom. So if you're just changing colors of filament, what you could do is actually use the control panel. So you're gonna go back to your control panel. You're gonna click the round control knob, go to prepare, click on it and scroll down till you see something called change filament. Go ahead and click on that. So the extruder is actually gonna pull the filament back for you after it pushes in just a little bit. So when you're ready to insert the filament again, you, you'll take your filament, insert it just like we showed until it, till it bottoms out. Then you'll go ahead and press the button like it's asking. And it should start to extrude once it's pulling the filament back through. Just like that. Now it could take uh, 45 to 100 millimeters of filament. So you're welcome to select the purge more. And hit that button and it'll con continue purging. So just a quick note. If you're going to swap filament, you wanna to go to the highest temperature that you're gonna be needing between the two that are being swapped. So if your first one only needs 190 and your second one needs 210, go ahead and go to 210 
before you take the old one out and put the next the new one in. Once you get that far, you're good to go. Uh, you can use your control panel. You don't need to purge anymore because we've already done that. Go back to continue. And then you'll want to just go ahead and cool it down. So from the info screen, click the button, go to prepare, scroll until you see cool down. Go ahead and select cool down and the hot end will start cooling down by itself and the machine will eventually come back to room temperature. So there you go, you've just loaded the filament. So there's a couple of cool mods you can do. You can actually print one of these uh, extruder knobs and there's tons of them on Thingiverse. Go ahead and look them up and you can actually print one. It goes right on top of the extruder and then when you disable the stepper motors, you can put your filament in and you can turn this and feed the filament through. For me, I like to use the arm and just push it through. It's a little easier, but sometimes this thing comes in handy. Also, don't forget, once you load your filament, either start a print right away or go ahead and cool your machine down. You don't want to cook the filament inside the nozzle. Don't forget to click subscribe below and hit the bell if you want the notifications and please like the video. Other than that, you guys have a great day. Happy 3D printing.